Hello, so I was asked in a live stream, and apologies, I can't remember which user asked, could I do a video on how UV light damages gas masks and give examples? So this is just going to be a quick video, but this PMG is a good example to start off with. Well, I store this mask, unfortunately, it's in, it's in an area where some parts of the day UV light, like sunlight, can hit the mask. And you can actually interestingly see the kind of pattern where the sunlight tends to hit it. So the best place of contrasting it is to stand at a side angle like that. And you can see where the sunlight hits the mask on the front, um, you can see where the mask is essentially tanned. Now, interestingly, if you ever look at pictures from countries like China, India, um, lots of the Middle Eastern countries, where Soviet gas masks or Soviet-style masks were used for quite a long time, you can actually see examples in lots of photographs of how the masks have tanned, because there's obviously lots of sunlight in those countries. So, in general, yes, sunlight is not good for masks, and if you're storing a surplus mask, or any mask for that matter, it's best to always keep it out of sunlight. The easiest way of doing that, of course, is actually quite simple. All you need to do is store the mask in a satchel bag on a shelf somewhere. Ideally in a cupboard where it's dry and everything, but in general, storing a mask in a satchel bag does reduce the risk of UV damage, because obviously the sunlight generally can't penetrate the bag, or it's going to reduce the amount of sunlight getting through the bag by quite a margin. So, yep, if you look at this mask, you can quite easily see where the colour has changed due to UV light. It literally just tans the rubber. Now, what I'm going to show you now is what happens when there's been quite a lot of UV exposure over a long time, and it's actually permanently damaged on the masks, rather than just tanning it. So let me show you that now. Now, here's my MM1 respirator, which is on a mannequin, and because it's on a mannequin, it's in a room where sunlight hits it quite frequently. And this uh, gas mask has been on this mannequin for a few years now. So obviously, if you get the idea that it's in a room where it's going to be hit by direct sunlight, as you can see, every day of the year, assuming the sun's out, because um, we are in England after all, but, you know, this mask is going to be permanently exposed to UV, nothing I can do about that because I want this mask on a mannequin that's not exactly a valuable mask. Now, if I zoom in, there's a bit of cobwebs on there, but you can see it's kind of almost like leaf pattern that's emerged on the rubber. That's where the rubber's cracking due to UV damage. There we go, if I zoom in there, you can permanent, properly see it there, and the camera actually looks like it's going to focus. So that is what eventually starts happening to the rubber, it starts to crack. Now, sometimes if you do have a mask on display, like on this one on the mannequin head, if the mask's stored in a certain way for too long, you know, with pressure on rubber joints in certain areas, and just due to age masks, this can happen anyway, but UV certainly accelerates the process, because what you're seeing there is obviously every day it getting blasted by UV light, the rubber is drying out and essentially cracking. It's not really dry rot, it's just where the rubber is essentially almost getting burnt, a bit like your skin would. So, there you go, short and simple video, apologies, I can't remember who it was that asked this question, but yeah, that's what happens if a mask is exposed to UV light for too long, um, the rubber starts to tan, you can see on that mask as well, lots of the mask looks browner than other bits, depending on how much sunlight hits it, and in general, the areas that go browner are the same areas that tend to crack and, you know, get destroyed earlier. So, as I said, it's always a good idea to keep your masks, ideally, in a satchel out of sunlight, and then in a sort of cool, dry place like a cupboard. Um, wardrobe, closet, that kind of thing. But that's not always practical. And as I said, if you've got masks on display in certain rooms, you're going to always inevitably get some UV damage. As far as I'm aware, LED and sort of um, regular bulbs don't damage masks, or if they do, it's such a slow process compared to UV. Um, and as I said, some masks are certainly more obvious than others that they've been damaged. So, for example, with these sort of masks, it's definitely more obvious that, um, you know, like Soviet-style masks made out of the latex, they made out of, especially like the white-grey sort of GP5-style masks. They're the ones that always seem to get damaged first. But anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully this has sort of demonstrated what happens to masks when exposed to UV.